Hello, it's the first interval of tonight's concert. I'm here with Tom Service, who's presenting it tonight on Radio 3. Tom, how's it going? Well, I, th I think, well, we had that nice little impromptu fanfare at the end. I think, you know, old uh, Prince Charles seems to be enjoying it, I think. I'm quite interested, actually, in him because, you know, he's got much more of a musical background than I thought. Apparently there's some film of him playing the cello, because he learned the cello as a kid. And uh, apparently there's, there's this documentary, and he plays the cello, and the string snaps. And it slaps back into Princess Anne, apparently. <laughs> so, no, apparently, apparently, this is what I've heard. Is this on YouTube? That's the it question maybe, everybody well, wants well, to it, know. It, it, it could be. Apparently it was a famous BBC, I think BBC, it might have been ITV documentary, a long time ago. And he's also now taken up conducting, uh, because he's pictured really? yeah, he's pictured of the Philharmonia. And uh, they were doing, the Philharmonia were doing a gig at Buck Powell one day, and uh, Christopher Warren Green, who was the orchestra's leader that day, said to him, he said, Sir, uh, would you like a go at the end of the concert? And Prince Charles picked up the baton and apparently conducted Strauss waltzes and focus and apparently he's done it uh, he's done it subsequently at High Grove and even St James's Palace. So you know who knows? Well, maybe, maybe he'll be maybe able to put it up. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe next season. Great minds think yeah, alike. Roger, right. Absolutely. You should let him know about that. You know. Totally. Um, listen, Tom, what, what I really want to know is um, presenting a prom to yeah. thousands, um, if not millions, of Radio Probably 3 listeners. Well, it could be millions. It I mean, could be. Reach, of course, online. It's all online. Good point. Absolutely. Billions. Um, <laughs> yeah, trillions. Trillions of Radio 3 um, listeners. It's a pretty big responsibility. How do you prepare for it? Uh, how do you prepare for it? Well, I think, I think the thing is not to think about if you you know if you imagine all those it's like any kind of broadcasting thing if you imagine that you were communicating to a vast number of people you could do it the thing is my sister's is sitting there she's over there she's sitting in the in the box with me tonight and it's more like I'm trying to just sort of you know tell her about the music and uh, hopefully that will get communicated well I know it's getting communicated because the microphone is connected to all kinds of broadcasting uh, technology yes. but you know that's the sense you want to tell the stories about this piece and you want to hopefully give a flavour of the event I mean because the really special thing about the proms for me is the fact that it's the the only time in the evening scope to the radio three now where there is such a such a concentration on live music, and that I think is the wonderful thing about them, and that's the excitement of doing it. Certainly, do you get nervous? Uh, it's exciting. It's, 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 it, you get excited because uh, you know you, you kind of pick up on the, on the buzz in the whole, and especially tonight with all the kind of shenanigans with HRH and that. So, no, it's, it's good fun. You know, it's a, it's a rush. Fantastic. Well, um, it, it all seems to be going well for you this evening, um, and um, it's, it's been a fab concert so far. If you've missed anything, it'll be online to listen for the next seven days, so um, bbc.co.uk slash Radio 3. The Organ Symphony is just a fantastic piece, I can't wait to hear that again. I absolutely love the Sound Organ Symphony.